Hey y'all, what's going in? It's Miss Sunday. Welcome on into Sessional Concave Souls Tarot, y'all. We are getting on to do the reading for <laughs> Capricorn. Y'all, what's up? I mean, what's up? Let's do this. <laughs> Um, take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when you all do. Also, do share if you know someone who needs to hear this message and hit that notification bell so you can receive all of the broadcasting that I load here on a daily and weekly basis for my social centers. What's going on, Capricorn? What's up, y'all? What's the deal, y'all? <laughs> what is the deal? Okay. <laughs> That's probably what y'all saying. I feel, I feel that y'all's energy like, what's, what is the deal? Like, really? Some, don't, don't tell me this, y'all, Capricorn, that somebody got y'all fucked up. Don't make me use my lip service phone for these motherfuckers that got both folks fucked up. You know, because you know, you know, I'm going to be playing because once I start getting and I start seeing these, these people showing up in y'all readings, want to play games. <laughs> and then I had to start going off for y'all now. Let me see. What's, why am I going to store here? Let's start with messages. Let's do it. Spirit keep telling me, keep leading me right here. And I, I'm, I'm telling y'all, because I, I was letting the Spirit lead me. I'm like, where am I? And I keep looking back at these cores, so that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, you know it's retrograde, and uh, baby, these twin flames are showing out this season. <laughs> Spirit, um, we have both our angels like divine beings, heavenly hosts. Employers of divine words on behalf of Virgo. At this time, we also eradicate the devil out of the atmosphere. We eradicate the devil out. Okay, we siphon the oxygen out of the lungs, of the spiritual lungs of Satan at this time. Back, back, devil. I feel your presence trying to come near me, but you back, back in the name of Jesus. Who are you, demon? I see you in the spirit, but we come against you. How dare you connect here? You don't belong here. Get out. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. <clears throat> How dare you disrespect the authority of God's throne by trying to present yourself here. <clears throat> Talk to me about connect me to the souls of Capricorn, please. See, let me tell y'all something. Um, Capricorn. I'm getting some anger in your energy. And let me tell you something about um, the devil and evil. Let me tell you something. The devil, you know what's dangerous for the devil? God's chosen. Let me tell you something. The devil knows who he can play with. And trust me, the devil does not want to attempt to mess with God's chosen people. Because let me tell you something. You don't see, you don't see anywhere... Where well, you need to fear the devil. The real fear is fearing God. Because I can assure you, <laughs> when the dismantling of the devil takes place, he won't be able to take that ass whooping. Okay? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, the devil is already defeated. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because people keep believing that the devil has power. And the, 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 the Satan holds weight. He does not. Okay? The only weight that he can hold is residing within you, if you allow it. I don't know who needs to hear that, but Spirit just told me to tell you, so I told you. Um, connect me to the souls of whoever's trying to connect with Capricorn at this time, please. But I'm getting uh, some anger in your energy. I really am, Capricorn, while I'm sitting in your energy. I do feel the presence of anger in your energy. Possibly even some chaotic energy feeling a little bit all over the place. Right now, angry. What's going on, spirits? What's going on? This card wanted to come out. I get scared for being honest with you. Hmm. I'm getting cold energy. I started to say that earlier. Cold energy. Hmm. 
Hmm, this card wanted to come. This one too. I hope to have a future with you one day. This one also. I do love you. Just don't know how to show you right now. You got somebody in your energy that has a lot of passion for you. They love you, but they don't know how to show you. So what's happening is this person is showing up cold in your presence and your energy. When underneath that, they really truly have deep feelings for you, uh, Capricorn. Deep love for you. Passion. But the issue is they're not showing it at all. They're not showing it. And so, and this this person is, is scared. There, there's fear in this person's energy. About opening up. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. This person is attempting to work on themselves. But this person has fear. Showing up in your reading. Hmm. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. Yeah, see? Oof, there's all that passion and desire again. My goodness, I'm going from cold to getting hot again. This happened in the in the Virgo uh, reading, Capricorn. See, this person's ready to let go of that cold energy. That cold heart, that heart of ice that they've been showing you. That, this, this, this heart of ice. Let me show you this. This heart of ice. That this person that has been showing you or presenting to you has all been a facade, Capricorn. It's a mask. This person has deep feelings for you, desire, um, and they're wishing to turn that cold heart down. Okay. This card at the bottom of the deck states, "I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me." What did I say? This person probably took some type of foolish risk or has been at wilding out. This ain't no damn Nick Cannon show. Fuck on. Well, why people be doing this? This person's been wilding out on you. I feel an energy. Let me get let me get my cords. Hold on. Shoot. I'm getting angry, Capcorn, because you mad. Hold on. <laughs> What's all this about? First, talk to me about what this person scared of. What's the deal, y'all? What's the deal? See, this person's been closed off. This person's been closed off. Just cut off. Just totally and utterly unavailable emotionally. Like, y'all, that's the worst shit ever. If you're in a relationship with somebody and they just emotionally cut off, what the hell? You sitting up like, damn, what's going on? <laughs> when we gonna fuck? When we gonna fuck? <laughs> when we gonna fuck? Yeah, you over here tripping back. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm getting in this, and this person just been over here doing some dumb shit. Same like, it's pissing me off. What's this person scared about? Yeah, lost. I just saw that while I was shuffling the cords. In this lost energy, lost in space, lost in time. Table for two. See, that's that desire. This person is wanting to shower you you know with love but they're scared and it's and you know why because they got a vanity complex ego ego that's what it is this person and you know why they know they fucked up they they've been selfish and being real immature with you and so what's happening is insecurities are coming arising here and this person is allowing their insecurities to create irrational fear. I've been seeing a lot of this in, in the energy. And this is retrograde, like I said, y'all, with these twin flames, the cycling of the twin flames are taking place right now. Um, but like I said, underneath all that, that hard exterior, this person is wanting to shower you with love. Table for two. Whew. Let me take you at a, out to a five-star restaurant or something. But hey. What is this person hoping to have a future about? What's this about, y'all? Uh, spirits. Connect me to this person's soul. What is this person? Uh, what's this? Wow, what I say, y'all? Ego and pride. It had to pop up. Their ego and their pride is getting in the way of this future. Get it in the way. There it is. Kind of, uh, 
closing an important contract. That's the cycle ending. That 1010 energy. Um, Ten of Wands energy. I'm feeling from spirit. That cycle's coming to a close. And see, this person's been uh, feeling like you're responsible for their happiness. That is also a result of vanity. Talk to me about what this person is hoping for a future. Let's talk about that, spirits. Okay. Oh, this person. See, you know what they're scared? Their fear is stemming out of... They, they're in fear that you're building up an emotional connection with someone else, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. I do see player energy at the bottom of the deck. Um, this person could have been doing, you know, had some hoish tendencies or some playing playing around in the in the uh football field. <laughs> they could have been doing that hocus pocus in the in the recent past here. And they could have built up an emotional damn connection with somebody else. That's probably what they don't want you to find out, Capricorn. Dirty damn dog. What's this about? That's why they over here in this fear. And you know something? These mofos, that's what's going on. Because you know something? What's this? I blame you. They blaming you. You know what it is, Virgo. Uh, I mean, um, I almost said Virgo. I just did Virgo's reading. Um, Capricorn, is this person, like I said, they've been being very selfish and immature. And like I said, this pride and this ego and this vanity, what it is, is this person's probably start. Like I said, doing a lot of blaming you with accusatory type of energy. I've been saying a lot of that right now. Um, you're responsible for their happiness, making you feel guilty and all that kind of stuff. And then possibly spying on you and all of that jazz. Accusing you of talking to somebody else. And then what does that do for somebody who is led by pride? All that is is an anchor for them to therefore project onto you their irrational fear. Therefore, giving them a pass, right? Collect your two hundred dollars. Don't go past go. The monopoly bullshit. That's what. That's what's going on. This pride, the monopoly. That's the monopoly bullshit. Because what's going on is this person. All they really are doing this for is so that they can play their little runaway games, run away from you, and then that'll get them an excuse to get on. Oh, let me let me get on one of these. You know, let me call my ex or something. Or let me let me get on uh one of these. Sites, if somebody DM and build up a motherfucking connection with somebody else behind your back and then try to blame you. Oh, you you responsible for this happening, Capricorn. You responsible for... How the fuck you responsible for somebody being a player? <laughs> and they'll play at 365, 365 days a year. The hell? Stop playing. See? Guess why you pissed off? There it is at the bottom of the deck. Peep show. Peep show. Mm-hmm. Get crunk tonight. <laughs> Trying to do their little bond above go go shit. They, but they thought they that the spirit wasn't gonna see you. That's why the spirit sent you over here, Capricorn. Uh-huh. Why this person, oh, I'm just so scared. And yeah, you know why they scared Capricorn? Because they scared you can find out they've been doing some little hocus pocus. Or they was think about. It. And that's even worse, an emotional connection. You really did not leave it yourself. <laughs> what in the hell? Never expected something. And now they, well, I wasn't expecting to fall in love. Now they, and see, you know what? This person's going to be, is sitting in some deep regret because they done went off and took this foolish risk. Oh, and I said that earlier. And they, this, knowing full well that they have deep love for you, that they don't want to open their heart. Cause I guess they've been hurt in the past or whatever. But you know something? What's 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 this? What people think that's giving them a pass to destroy somebody else's life? What? Okay, somebody broke your heart in the past. So now you got a relationship with Capricorn, and Capricorn is supposed to pay the price for all this shit. I'm, I'm, but you wasn't no fuck boy or fuck girl in this relationship. That you was where this person broke your heart, but now you want to come over here in the new relationship where you getting all the love and stuff. And Capricorn been giving you the love you wanted. You been wanting all this time. You claim you want it. Because that's what all these people doing, Capricorn. They claim they want real love. They claim they, And then when they get it, all they do is fuck over it. That's what they do. 
And then blame you for it. That's what the hell going on. I'm seeing a lot of this, and, and, and that's why you over here angry. What, what, what? Not willing to hold myself accountable. <laughs> here it is right there. Talk to me about these never expected family love so quickly. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Let me see. What's going on, Spirit? What's that one? Low vibrational energy. You know why they, they who they see this person. I don't <laughs> my God, y'all. I didn't need time alone with you. This person conflicted as hell. And it's low vibrational energy. That's what the hell it is. Cause and you know what it is? Um that porn, um, this person is trying to hold on to this this little bullshit they got going on. When they need to open up their heart, they got these feelings like they say they do. They want to show up in your ring and tell you they got all these feelings. Well, be about it. What ain't nobody? How somebody know you? If you just sitting up looking like, uh, blank in the face all day, like what? Or you sitting up doing and mad all day. What? <laughs> Let me see. Uh, where I'm going with this? Spirit talks to me. Oh, this is what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, Spirit, connect me to this person's subconscious view. Um, connect me to the subconscious soul of this uh person that um showed up in Capricorn's reading. Connect me to their intentions. Feelings here towards Capricorn with the dealio. Connect the spirits now. Okay, let's get to it. What's going on? What's going on, soul? Okay. What's this? We have strength core in the reverse. Leo energy. We have the star cord in the reverse. Uh Aquarius energy. Hmm. Yeah, this person is, they, they too slow to open up their heart. Their, their heart is still close to you. They haven't done any healing. I just saw the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is slow to do. Look at all this in the reverse. What the fuck? You got the eight of uh, cups, and yet they refuse to walk away from you. <clears throat> and at the same time, they refuse to stop playing the victim card. This is what you tired of, Capricorn. Um, you got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. You tired of these little baby offers. You know, these little immature games this person is playing, immature emotions all over the place. You know, they they inconsistent. You know, uh, you got the two of pentacles um in the reverse. Indecisive. This is just what's going on. Yep, they're there spying on you, like I said. Spying on you and all that stuff. I've been seeing a lot of that. And you know what? It's like they study you, Capricorn. I do see this. The Spirit is leading me to see. They study you. Okay, we'll say this. They study your emotional state so that they can know how to manipulate every scenario in order to turn it in their favor, in order to continue to play victim. And by them doing that and turning everything on you, that's why they're blaming everything on you. See, because this person does a lot of turning it around on you, but how they're doing that is through emotional uh, manipulation, uh, manipulating your mind and your emotions in order to play you for crazy. Um, it's placation and games, right? In order for this person to, um, not look bad, right? In order for them to not hold themselves accountable. Um, I'm getting issues of image here. This person likes to, um, they're, they're very hell-bent on this image. But inside, they're a wreck. They play the victim card. But this is all a game and a ploy in order to keep manipulating you in order for them to continue to play the victim. Um, let me see. <laughs> That's 
to me, Corey. Hair fit in the reverse. Or oh, cook. This person is immature as fuck. Capricorn. <laughs> you got the four cups at the bottom of the deck and the hair fan. This person not even available in this in this relationship. This person not even showing up is ready for a commitment. You got the hair fan in the reverse. Um, Taurus energy. This and, and you know this person can't step up to the plate. They can't. Two of Pentacles. Oh, this is actually, excuse me. That was the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is refusing to walk away. And they're not investing in this relationship. The way they're supposed to. And they're indecisive and hot and cold. And um, unpredictable. It's fuck. What the fuck? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I mean, shit, you've been losing more than you've been getting from this person. Damn. Stop playing Capricorn. This person playing with y'all uh, emotions. <laughs> I mean, I'm blood. <laughs> Ooh, let me see. Um, this is what I want to do. Let me find this right here. Let me get this. Let me get your energy over here. Let me move these cords. Uh, Spirit, connect me to Capricorn soul, please. Connect me to the soul of Capricorn. Connect me to Capricorn, please. <laughs> okay, let's see. Capricorn's energy, please. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, uh, we have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. We have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Ooh, the King of Cups. You got, at the bottom of the deck, you got a lot of love for this person, Capricorn. You want to, you wish to create peace and balance between you two. You know, you're being very um, thoughtful in your approaches at this point, I see. Um, you are exercising your third eye um, for awareness here. Let me see. But, I mean, I see you blush. I mean, it feels like you blush every time you're around this person. I'm seeing that and I'm feeling that in the energy. Like, you just start blushing. Because, like I said, y'all, I do feel that desire. A lot of desire. Um, We have the King of Pentacles. You, you've been doing a lot of contemplating. But you're loyal to this person. But you feel betrayed. This person's betrayed you in the past here with the Ten of Swords. Yeah. And you, you might even be feeling stuck here in the pain of the betrayal. That's what the issue is. Um, the pain of the betrayal. Hmm. You have the world. You have the four of wands. So the page of swords. Oof. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. I mean, it's just been an endless cycle of betrayals. That's what I'm seeing in your energy, Capricorn. And you're angry. You're tired of it. We have the Two of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. You're making a, a hard decision here. You're trying to see. You're taking a look over and over at this scenario over and over. Contemplating. Studying it. You know, trying to see where you went wrong. Did you do something wrong? Blaming yourself. Um, you know, when you're the one who's been betrayed, this person's betrayed, there's been a cycle of betrayals, you know, that has kept this relationship from moving in the right direction with the four of wands, 
while there is still a lot of passion between you two, you love this person. But, you know, this person is not, they're refusing. We have the Knight of Pentacles again, that slow movement, that slow energy. And this is alongside with that low vibrational energy I was talking to you all about earlier. You know, uh, where this person never really was open to a commitment because they weren't ready for a commitment anyway. That's why this person showed up saying, you know, I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly, you know. Um, but the thing of it is, is that this person is afraid of this love, right? They're used to playing this victim card, getting away with doing what they want to do at anybody's expense. Um, and that's that pride and that ego I'm talking about, that vanity complex. The vanity complex is all about um, someone who um, is all about getting what they want at all costs, you know. They don't care if they hurt you. You know, this is why this betrayal is here. You know, because very quickly this person ran into this ego and made this risk, took this risk here, made this foolish decision and betrayed you. Um, and all for them just to feel good about themselves, right? And to turn it around on you and play victim. But I just don't see anything in here where this person is ready to invest. Everything is in the reverse. This person's heart is closed. They're not healed. Um, and at the same time, they don't want to let you go because it appears to me, what, what are you still here for if you're not available to be in a relationship? Why is this person still in your energy? That they, they refuse to let you go, but at the same time, refuse to invest in you, in the relationship. This makes absolutely no sense. And then on top of that, spying on you. You know, nervous about you um, getting somebody else. But they're the ones who have been running around here building up emotional connections with people betraying you. A cycle. Which means that this has been ongoing. This person has been betraying you several times. And they have emotional connections probably built up all over the fucking planet at this point. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? And you know this person. You know what they're doing, too, with this page of swords of the page of swords. You know that this person is watching you. You know what they're doing. You know everything they're doing. See, you're hip on to this person's ordeal at this point. And you want it all with this person. You know? I mean, but you want this person to heal and heal this connection to do the work. See? And you didn't just put your sword down. <laughs> you just, you over here just like, oh, well. Let me, uh, <laughs> I mean, really, I'm just feeling just shit. This person making me get on my nerve. This is ridiculous. What? I mean, I don't see anything where this person, all this is in the no, This person's not investing in anything. Like, what's the, hold on. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me use this dick. Let me get the, what's the tea? Talk to me spread about string card in the reverse. What's up with this mofo? Ooh, this they trying to do ya. Let me see. What's this? No. Spirit, talk to me about string card in the reverse, please. Okay. Fake accounts. Fake social media accounts to spy. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, so they're a close. This is so retarded. This person got their, they have completely closed themselves out to you. Their heart out to you. But while they're doing that, they're doing all this damn spying. There they are spying again. Damn. How much spying are you doing? They creating fake accounts and shit to spy on you. <coughs> Page of Swords spying on you again. You know what? And you better be careful. Uh, uh, what the, uh, Capricorn, because. At the bottom of the deck, we got caught a case. Sexual infection, sexual disease, rash. Um, and then we got ego. Impersonator. This person is impersonating themselves on these fake accounts. Wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, copy you. What the fuck? You got dick, what type of... You, you, Capricorn, you're dealing with some, some bullshit. 
Okay, this is where we get into the stage of this reading where I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Okay, because whoever you're dealing with, this person, it, it could be impersonating you online. They could be creating these fake accounts as you in order to do this fuck shit they're doing. Okay, so I'm just letting you know. Um, And on top of that, like I said, this not this kind of case, it don't have to be no disease. But you know what? What it really is, this person caught a case of their damn ego. That's what they that's what the damn case is. A case of the fucking ego. <laughs> that's all that shit is. A case of their ego. That's what it really is. It ain't about no damn disease. Spirit just told me. It's about the case of this person's ego. Because it's about them winning at all costs. And the thing about it is when somebody is all up in this ego, what are you trying to win exactly? And they, the people that sit in pride like this, they, there, there is really nothing they're actually trying to win. The only thing they're winning is fucking you over, and in some kind of way. And they, they mind, they think that, oh, I'm winning now because I fucked up with Capricorn. What? If y'all take your spaghetti your ass on up out of here some damn way, cross watching. That's right, you came to the right, to the right place. Cause guess what? Didn't it say Capricorn? I don't know why you came over here trying to look at Capricorn reading. And you know you got these little fake accounts over here building up these little connections. And behind the scenes, why you too afraid to open your damn heart over here to Capricorn? Down somewhere. That's because you weren't planning on opening in the first place. This person, you know so what I'm really seeing? This person is a damn con artist. You know what I'm saying, Capricorn? This person never intended on being in no real commitment with you. That's the whole thing. Is this a narcissist? I'm almost getting y'all dealing with a narcissist. This is crazy energy. This person never really intended to have a, a meaningful relationship with you. This person came into your life, it appears to me, just to obtain what it is that they had in their mind they wanted to get from you. It could have been finances because you are showing up as the king of pentacles, Capricorn. You know, that uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Um, very uh, well to do, well off, or at least your I mean, your foundation is there. So, this person, this person is definitely not foundational or have anything going for themselves. I don't see that anywhere in their energy. This is some time took and hairy bullshit. This is this person came to your life knowing damn well that their heart was closed as fuck. They probably met you on a fake account that that shit. And then they, they're not healed. You know, they toxic as fuck. They are, they're obsessive. This eight of cups energy in the reverse. This person is obsessive. They, re, they don't want you, but refuse to walk away. This is some narcissistic energy. Then they refuse to not play the victim. That is so, that's one of the main issues of a narcissist. They refuse to not play the victim. They have to play the victim at all costs. And, so, and then on top of that, this person is not even entertaining giving you a page offer of an apology. You, hold on, y'all. <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me, Lord. Operator, please connect me to this bitch-made motherfucker that's playing games with Capricorn. You take your fake account creating, impersonating Capricorn, duke shooting ass on somewhere and get you some goddamn business. Want to set up a, re a fake relationship when somebody's giving you their heart, and then you want to sit up here and play the goddamn victim. You narcissistic, no good, dirty piece of nothing. The hell? Capricorn, why they playing with y'all? See, I done got pissed off there. Because I done caught on. See, I see what's going on. This person is the Brit. This person right here, you're dealing with Capricorn. This person really think they're a game player. I, for real, for real, I'm telling y'all. This is narcissistic energy. This energy this person is in is not no energy you're supposed to be in. That, or that you're supposed to be dealing with. <laughs> and let me tell y'all something. Uh, narcissist, my God. This is the worst energy. Some of the, especially, and depending on the type of narcissist that you're dealing with, it only can get worse from worse. Okay? You know, you may be, and I'm getting, you're, you're either dealing with a malignant narcissist or you're dealing with a covert narcissist. This energy I'm getting right here. That's what you're dealing with. 
And that's why this person is all playing this game. And let me tell you something, baby. Narcissists are very calculating. And they are the split image and replica of the devil. Okay? <laughs> and they're, they're not far from it. Okay? They are very calculating. They know, let me tell you, the entire time that a narcissist exists, they are thinking of how they can get over on you. Okay? You need to really get this. That's why this, and they will do this fuck shit like this too. Create this fake account on you and all this bullshit. This person you're dealing with, mm-mm, Capricorn. And your intuition is telling you. See, that's what's going on. Your intuition is telling you. This person betrayed me so many times. Why ain't I into this shit? That's why you got the world core right here next to betrayal. Next to four wands. Your intuition is telling you, get gone. But you still looking. You waiting. See, you waiting, Capricorn. Oh, well, I'm going to just try to wait. Capricorn, <laughs> you better You better pull out. Now, y'all know y'all card in the tarot is the devil card. <laughs> y'all better whip out them that chain. Oh, gee. Well, this motherfucker tripping over here. Talking about um, the star card in reverse. It's ridiculous. This person is over here dibbling and dabbling. Yeah, they over here unbothered. You see what I'm uh, Typical narcissistic energy. They are unbothered by you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about what you're about. They don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. They don't give a fuck about nothing. Shit. Th that's why this person is showing up here in this unhealed energy. Unbothered. How the fuck you unbothered by the fact that you a fucking wreck? <laughs> Excuse me? How are you not bothered by that? I don't understand that. You're unbothered. But you not healed. That's what I'm saying. Here's this ego and this pride. And this person over here feeling like you, they're making you responsible for their happiness while they're sitting over here unbothered doing nothing. What the fuck? Okay, we're going to see how long that's going to last. Haunted thief. Eight of cups. Memories, flashbacks, trauma. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob, lost, death, physical or emotional. Club hungry. This person is emotionally, this is an emotional vampire, actually. This person is an emotional vampire. And what they do is they transmute their trauma, their pain, their, their uh, pain trauma body onto people. And then run around here clout hungry, say anything, does anything, make shit up, and dramatic as fuck. <laughs> A narcissist. That's exactly what this shit is. That's exactly a, a thief, a robber of emotion, of emotion, everything, the fuck. And this person on top of this, it makes shit up, dramatic as hell, and say anything. And that's exactly what a narcissist do. You'll be talking to, okay, let's say you're talking to a narcissist. You'll be like, oh, good morning, let's have coffee. They'll be like, fuck you, bitch. Who the fuck is you? Fuck is you talking about coffee? I don't want to have no coffee. Go sit your stupid ass, dumb ass down some fucking word. That's a narcissist. You'll get, okay, let's say you, okay, let's, um, you want to go on date night? Oh, let's try, um, you know, let's go to Applebee's. Fuck, did you tell me I ain't going to no Applebee's? You better call another motherfucker go to Applebee's. That's the shit I'm talking about. Just bullshit. Just say anything. This is this chaotic energy. This person say anything to you, do anything to you, and you just supposed to be sitting over here waiting to accept this bullshit. While this person sit over here unbothered treating you like some second-rate-ass motherfucker. What? Treating you like some slave or some shit. What am I looking at in these cards? You know what? That's why I felt this. Y'all was angry as soon as I started this reading. And I'm getting super pissed. This is some bullshit. Y'all sitting up here dealing with Capricorn, and y'all need to leave this motherfucker alone. For real. And then all these accusations, they're accusing you with this page of swords. When they the one over here building up these connections, because they clout hungry. Right? They clout hungry, and they unbothered. They never intended on committing to you fully. Even if you're in a relationship with this person, and that's typical of a narcissist, right? They gotta... See, because there's an ultimate goal that they have, and that changes with the wind, right? And there's, that purpose is to use you for whatever their gain is. That's the whole thing. It was never about a commitment. They're happening in the reverse. 
That's what I'm saying. This person was clout hungry. They've been using you, using your coin, using your emotion, using your talent. All while they betraying you behind your back. And that's what narcissists do. That's exactly what they do. You, 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 you at work, they done slipped with about 30 people in your house or some shit or... You, 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 you never know what the fuck is going on behind your back with a narcissist. Okay, people? You don't know. Uh, okay, and, and this is serious. This is pissing me off. Because when you're dealing with people like this, this is some serious evil. And I need you to see this, Capricorn. This is the devil in your life. Okay? This person is not nobody to be in your life. And I'm just keeping it 100. I'm sorry. This is a horrible energy. It's terrible. And you've been going through a cycle of betrayal. This person got fake accounts all over. They they all up in the motherfucking DM. And that's what goes on. You know, behind the scenes. And, and let me tell you something. Narcissistic energy. Narcissists are so good at their love bombing. You know, um, and I know a lot of people, especially like you'll see a lot of even YouTubers on here that talk about narcissists and, you know, their channel's all about narcissists. Um, the one thing here... Is that um, this person, narcissists are never satisfied, right? That they need continual energy feeds, continual attention, continual, you know. And so that's what this person is doing behind your back, too. You know, they're on these other accounts or, you know, talking to people behind your back or maybe contacting their exes or linking up with their, you know, they never lose touch with their exes either. Maybe that's something you all don't know. They never actually lose touch with anybody. Narcissists don't. Right? So you never really truly know what they're doing behind your back. Because the ultimate goal is for them to get what they want. Okay? And that changes ever so quickly. You know? <laughs> um, including the fact, but what's not changing is this person didn't come in your life for a commitment. They lied to you. They betrayed your trust, your dignity, your respect, your honor. They betrayed your heart. This is some bullshit. I mean, seriously. Happiness hater. They hate the light that shines within you. Typical of a narcissist. Right? Because if there's a light shining... Okay. Okay, let's talk about narcissist relationship, right? There can be no light in you. Okay? The narcissist wishes to destroy the light within you. To dim who you are on the inside. Okay? Not your attributes. Not what you can do. All of that they want to dissolve too. But narcissists really want to get into the inside of you. Right? What triggers you. Maybe, you know, they want you to talk a little bit deeper about your past. Maybe they find out you were a victim of abuse. Or maybe they find out something that happened to you that was real terrible. What they then do... Is later down the line, you know, maybe you say you told them, um, you know, I was abused um, in my adolescence. Or I, you told them something very important to you that was painful in your life. Or maybe you told them something else other than that. You know, maybe you were in a relationship where you were abused previously. The way, reason why I'm saying this is, say you just told them that. Okay, what they do is they'll wait Three months down the line, six months down the line, or whatever. All just to use that against you. And then um, what they will also do is try to deteriorate your worth by any means, okay? And that starts after the love bombing phase, right? After the love bombing, after they reeled you in and they made you believe that it was only you. And they made you believe they actually loved you. And they made you believe they were all for you. Until the narcissist no longer needs you to feel that to feel that mothering void, right? Until they start saying, uh, maybe you got a new promotion, you know, maybe you have an intellect, which to narcissists you're not supposed to have a mind. Um, only they can have a mind, right? Because they have to think for you the whole entire time. They're manipulating your mind, right? In order to for you to reel you in to their energy so that eventually you won't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> here, here, here it goes, people. You get into this, and that's what's happening to you, Capricorn. Yeah, that's what's going on. You, you, you all over the place trying to think, oh my God, I'm waiting on 
the narcissist. I'm waiting. I invest in them. I'm looking. And, and they're never. Guess, guess what? This person was never intending on developing a relationship with you that was real. Okay, y'all? This person. It, oof, this is just too much. Talk to me about the nine of wands in reverse, please. Because <clears throat> I could go on and on about the narcissist. Okay? <laughs> go on and on about the narcissist and the empath and the narcissist and that because let me tell y'all um this energy is the worst you don't want to be around a person like this i'm telling y'all okay <laughs> you and not the ones in reverse please because this is the devil in the flesh okay and this is what i need y'all to know okay this person look at all this always partying what i say all about them Doing what they want to do. Not paying you. You know what this person's doing? Probably eat, not even acting like you're there. Oh, that's typical for a narcissist in a narcissistic relationship, right? Where you don't matter. You know? So, you could be living with them and, oh, they'll get up in the morning. Don't speak to you. Um, oh, who are you? You know, fuck you. You're nothing. And then they'll go on about their business and go on about until they need you for something, maybe. You know, maybe they need you to... Get, go get something for them or go fetch something for them or go do what they want you to do like a little slave. Because that's, in, in, a, in a narcissist's mind, you are their slave. You are nothing. Okay? And so I'm breaking this down for people that need help. Okay? Because what I'm tired of is people getting on these programs and not giving people a real word. This is not that arena. This is the arena where people are going to get a 100% word so that they can get healing. Okay, and so they can know what's going on in their life for real. Okay, and I can see what's going on. You're dealing with this person, yeah, yeah, and this person want to sit up and argue and fight and all this and all that. It's the manipulation game too, right? So that they can turn everything back on. It's just a revolving cycle. That's all it is. What is this person partying about? <clears throat> Broke ass. Uh, okay, the person not doing that. This person showing up is broke. But they just showed up. And like, what's going on? Y'all in the energy. See, they see you stepping into your power. That's why they don't want to let you go, Capricorn. See, the devil already revealed himself. Look, this person is broke as hell. They probably don't got nothing. Ain't about nothing. So we already see that because I can already see this person's energy. That they not about shit. This person ain't investing in nothing. You got seven of pentacles in reverse, for goodness sake. This person ain't investing in their damn self. Shit. <laughs> well, they doing a lot of whole a lot of that, but at somebody else, a whole lot of other people's expense. <laughs> Cause please know that. This person is not doing nothing. And they they see you rising here. Like I said, I I'm seeing you very prominent here, very stable, taking care of you. Things are going well for you. Now that is definitely being seen in your energy. Stepping into your power of praise coming up. Spotlight. But see, this person deeply on the inside, they want their spotlight to be their spotlight. See, that's the thing. And this person's ready to party and have a good time off your ticket. Okay? And then, whew, baby, let me tell you, that is typical of a narcissist. Okay? So, I'm just telling you right now, this person ain't got nothing. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, Page of... What's killing me? This person always on the prowl. But this, that's the energy I'm getting from this spy cord. From the page of, page of work. This person always on the prowl. Always on the prowl like a predator. I mean, what the fuck? They want you to get him some money. Don't get this mofo no money, Capricorn. This person gonna try to reach out to you for some money. Don't do that shit. <clears throat> Talk to me, Spirit, about Page of Pentacles. My God, this shit crazy <laughs> right now. For real. Jackpot. Yeah, see? Winning, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money in their head. They thinking about your money. They thinking about you taking care of them. Because they don't got nothing. Scarcity tactics. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And they got a bad reputation. 
This perfect. This is not the first time this person did has done this. Um, Capricorn and bad reputation. I always typically see this come out anytime I get the energy or the presence of a narcissist, because typically narcissists will have a bad reputation. And the funny part about it is, in their head, they believe they don't have a bad reputation. But I can assure you, if you fuck up with enough people, it's going to add up. <laughs> so, I don't know how this person believes they don't got no bad reputation. Because guess what? Okay, you fucked up with Susie. Susie told um, Jessica, which happened to be Susie's friend, that the narcissist went and fucked. Okay, so then now Jessica... Don't want to believe what you're talking about. So just to believe, oh, the narcissist loves me. You just yell because he fucked me and all this. But guess what, bitch? The whole thing of it is, is when you get through with all that and then here come uh, 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 um, Brittany and uh, Chakina and Sashaya and all these bitches start adding up. <laughs> what you think that equates to? A bad reputation? <laughs> Yeah, this person talking about. Yeah. And now they sitting up thinking and reflecting and thinking about their badass reputation. This is what this person sit up and think about image and uh, how they look. But they don't got nothing. That's what they, and that's the, you know what? That's what it is. This person know they don't got nothing. And they sitting up here worried about how they look and how they appear. And they want you to invest. Okay, Capricorn, they want you to invest <laughs> in this bullshit. Okay, because that's exactly what it is. Because, baby, it's a cycle of betrayals. You know it. It's in your energy, Capricorn. Well, we have 51 minutes. Um, They hate to see you shine. Again, this is showing up. Hate to see you shine. My God. This is ridiculous. It's like this person sit up and study you. They sit up and watch you. And, and they sit up and hate you. Actually, this person sits up and watches you and hate you. You have shine card in the reverse. What the fuck am I reading? Oh, while wow, they act uninterested. This is shit. This is typical narcissistic energy, right? All oh, while wow, they're unbothered, uninterested in you. You're nothing. But... When they get through talking that bullshit, it, it, you you could be um too unbothered, cause you 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 showing some emotion somewhere. Cause baby, let's talk about the love bombing phase. You love bombing somewhere, motherfucker. So what you mean? You all over here building up emotional connections. What do you mean you unbothered? No, you yes you are bothered. Stop it, cause you over here building up emotional connections and you over here trying to uh take what you can get over here from Capricorn. Like you doing everybody else. So stop playing. You unbothered. Now you got to love bomb them motherfuckers to get they coin. Who you talking to? Narcissist? <laughs> oh, you sure? You doing something. You giving them some hocus pocus or something. Fuck you think you lying to. Guess, guess what? Capricorn, this person ain't shit. Okay? That's just what it is. And you need to leave. Just, a hair fan in the reverse, please. This is pissing me. I almost picked up my phone again, yeah. Stop playing. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> this reading. Yeah, there it is. Stepping into your power. See, they see you stepping into your power. <clears throat> and they're going to try to rush in and stop you from moving forward with your life, Capricorn. They're going to try to stop you. Not, and they're going to they come trying to love bomb you again. Classic narcissistic behavior. Classic. They come into your life to sell you a dream. Then love bomb you, make you think they all in, then start fucking over you, then start abusing you, calling you a bunch of names, threatening to do this, threatening to do that, um, then go and fuck a bunch of people on you behind your back. Oh, why don't we just go, go and add some fire and then build themselves a bad reputation and then start worrying about their image, right? And the image that you're supposed to be paying for, okay? You're, you're not... <laughs> I don't think you're getting this, Capricorn. This person is wanting to come back to you after they done went off and slept all around the planet. Okay? And they done got whatever they want to get from all these other people. Whether that be online, it's all type of ways, y'all. Please don't make Miss Sunny give y'all the tea. Okay? Because <laughs> Miss Sunny will break it down to you. 
Okay, there are all kinds of ways that these people can calculate. Okay, so, and Miss Sunny has the tea. No, I'm not a psychic medium for nothing, okay? <laughs> so, because if you came here, devil, you can't trick me, okay? You know who I am before you even tried to enter this spirit realm. You are talking to an authority of God, okay? Devil, how dare you come here? You tried to come into this reading again, but we rebuke you in the name of all that is divine at this time. Okay. <clears throat> Divination abuser. Bad karma. Look at this shit. What the hell going on? Two of Pentacles. This person probably tried to um have somebody do some readings on you or something or have somebody probably trying to do some spell work on you, Capricorn. That's why I kept getting that evil energy. This person, and you know what it is? Oh, you know what? This is the spirit of transference. This person is trying to transfer their spirit into you. This karma. They're trying to transmute this karma into you. Divination abuser. This is the evil entity you got. You all are de dealing with here. Um... This person is dark. They may even practice, uh, dibble and dabble in the dark arts. Yeah, d drama starter. Typical narcissist. Oh, that's me on the table. That's my husband, y'all. <laughs> I'm in here beating on the table with the cords. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this person is showing up as a drama starter. You know, typical nar narcissist alongside their bad habits. And see... This is giving me fuck boy, fuck girl energy, right? Because this is what drama started to do. They create drama so that they can cover up their lies, keep their secrets, and keep their bad habits, and do all this shit. Basically, fuck you over in your face, basically. Right? That's exactly what this is. Drama starter, bad habit to uninterested, and fake flexing. And then spying on you, accusations with no facts. Because they're never going to have facts on you, Capricorn, because you're not doing shit. And that's typical of narcissistic behavior. They know they fucked around on you, right? They know they built up these connections behind your back. And of course, if you you may have even confronted them. I can see that in your energy. Oh, yeah, Capricorn, you may have confronted them. But oh, boom, once again, what happens when you confront a narcissist when you've caught them red-handed? They're just going to deny that, too. <laughs> oh, and they'll come up with all kinds of stories, you know. <laughs> and then go tell a completely different story to someone else. You know, all the people involved. <laughs> so, and but that's what's going on here. This person, this is ridiculous. Okay. And this person is fake flexing online, like I said, possibly impersonating you. Okay. I mean, let's do this. <laughs> that's the deal. I mean, what's up? <laughs> Ooh, let me, um... This is ridiculous. I mean, wow. What is this? Okay, talk to me, Spirit. I just want to check a couple more things here before I let y'all go. Because I'm trying to see. Talk to me, Spirit, about what this person is at. Uh, uh, possible outcome here with this person. That's why well, this person's intentions here. Her intentions. Even though we can see it's some bullshit. But, I mean, one thing I will say, Capricorn, is what's killing me is this person got all this desire. But this is just this love bomb. That's what's so crazy. This person been love bombing the shit out of you. Damn. Over and over. Whew, and I'm saying that love bomb, and, and they're probably getting you with the, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, hocus pocus, y'all. That's what's going on. They come in, and we come in with the sex. That's why... All that desire energy is there. And they come in, love bomb you, tell you them little sweet nothings. But really, this person blames you for everything. You're responsible for their happiness, and they're in this low vibrational energy. Yeah. Look at that seven of swords to the five of swords. <laughs> there you are. Mm -hmm. They're just going to be telling more lies and causing more conflict. Oh, Jesus. Intention, please. 
typical of a narcissist. We have the empress. Look at that. The empress, this, this person is going to pretend like they're loyal to you. But this is your energy, Um, I feel, too. This is you, even though this is Taurus. The empress is Taurus energy. Taurus embodies all of the queens in the entire tarot deck. Overseer of the queens. Um, they're, they're going to lie to you. And this is also representative now that you're showing up as the empress. Is you, the, the queen rising. You stepping into your power. For you to be showing up as Taurus. You are definitely standing up and showing up into your power. Um, but at the same time, this person is going to come towards you with more lies and deception. On the defense with Seven of Wands energy. Pretending like they want to heal the connection. Ready to do all that love bombing and all that bullshit. But it's really just as a means of control. They're going to tell you they're the one. Promise you that you're the one. Emperor to the Empress. That they're your divine person. They're, they're meant to be with you. But that's all a lie. That's the lie they've been telling you from the beginning. Capricorn, that same lie back here. Same lie. When really they had choices, options. The lovers. <laughs> Several people that they actually connect with. And with this lovers card, this is not just no quick fling, y'all. This somebody, that this, this is a regular. Okay? This somebody, this are people either from they already know in their past or people that they met. Either online or whenever that they decided to. Whenever you turned your eye, basically. Shit. You could have been in a grocery store and picked up the can of coffee and they gave somebody a damn love or shit. You never know what a narcissist, but... Yeah. This person had options and they broke your heart. They intend to break your heart. <laughs> they intend to leave you broken hearted. My God, this message is specific for somebody. This is what this person is intending to do. They're intending to leave you heart bro uh, heartbroken. Yeah, and, to, and and convey to you that they want to heal this connection, but they don't. With the eight of wands, they don't. Okay, I'm just telling y'all what the outcome is going to be. This person is not, okay, they're promising you the ten of pentacles, but they don't want it. Simple as that. <laughs> All they're going to do is leave you waiting and hanging three of wands. Why they be selfish as fuck like they always have been? Nine of cups. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm done. I'm done with this energy. I'm just done. I mean, shit, you couldn't be nothing but pissed off. If you don't want a damn narcissist, what the hell? <laughs> um, what I do? Oh, here it is. Um, okay, um, Capricorn, I'm let y'all go. Um, but amazing abundance to you all on your magnificent journey. I love you all so much. Love unlimited to you all. I really do hope um and pray that this message um is helpful to you all on your journey, you know. Um, and please do leave me a comment, y'all. Don't shy away. If you're looking for a personal reading or anything, um, if you all have questions, whatever the case, please do reach out to me. I will respond. I always respond to my social journey. You know I love y'all. <laughs> but I will see y'all on the next reading. I love you, Capricorn. See you soon.